while I agree that that both Russia and China are separate com- countries, we've had strained relationships with China as well. And it's telling that Donald Trump, former President Trump, and I even hate to even admit this, seemingly did something more than the current president as it relates to hostage or uh, uh, not hostage negotiations, but situations where he got engaged and involved on a criminal act that was uh, done on a foreign country. And he was able to, uh, according to their own admission, influence the situation and help not only the charges get dropped, but them to come home. Uh, I don't know what happened behind the scenes as it relates to Brittany Griner. I've heard a lot of different reports uh, about uh, the slow slowness of response, but I think that this particular administration could have done a whole lot more in the early stages to try to get more engaged and involved and to see if they could do something in advance. You know, I do understand that the, the Ukraine uh, strained relationships and the war that's going on right now between uh, Russia and Ukraine has played a factor in this, but I don't know that she's being used as a pawn as much as we not using the same type of advocacy that we've used in many other instances to try to assist to bring other people home or to address situations. He may have cut a deal with China, to try to get some uh, business deals done or some other things, but I think it's important to note that he was able to get that situation resolved within a week. And now this young lady has been not only gone to trial, she's been sentenced to nine years in a Russian prison. Donald Trump did say she shouldn't have done what she did. She deserves to be there. Uh, Dr. Corte, do you think if Donald Trump were president, she'd be free by now, though? I think if Donald Trump was president, he would have completely forgotten about Brittany Griner. Uh, I, I don't think we would have seen nearly the kind of uh, aggressive posture that this administration has taken. Listen, I will concede that this administration was slow to move on this, at least publicly. It was disappointing to hear that behind the scenes that uh, the wife of Brittany Griner didn't seem to have sufficient outreach and that the State Department, you know, seemed to be asleep at the switch in terms of receiving those phone calls. But this administration- But Donald Trump got three Black men out. Two, two different geopolitical situations. The situation in China versus our diplomatic relationship and lack thereof in Russia. Jeffrey it, brings it up a good point, though, when he says we have we we definitely have some some issues with China as well. Not an apples to apples comparison. Yeah. You know, our you know we we do so much business with China. Americans are one of the largest consumers of Chinese goods. You know, it is an, it is not an apples to apples comparison in terms of our relationship with China versus Russia. You know, and you add to this the the conflict in Ukraine and the role that the Biden administration has played and is playing in supporting that ally and inviting them to, to be a part of NATO. There is so much more in the sauce geopolitically uh, with with regard to Russia than China. And so it's not a fair comparison. Jamar, uh, we, 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 go no, ahead, I Jeffrey. Say, in follow up, you know, I know it's very difficult for any of us, including myself, to give credit to Donald J. Trump for anything that he did, particularly in a positive sense. But let's just be honest. He did something that this current president did not do or could not do in this yeah. particular could not of disagree you, with you more. Could not yeah, disagree. Regardless of you, regardless could of not you, disagree, disagree with you more. No. Are you, you, you think about the relationship. I, could, uh, I didn't interrupt anybody else. I'm, I'm sorry. Just trying to I'm get sorry. my point out to say Go that ahead, Jeffrey. All I'm saying to you is that although there are two different countries and there are two different situations, we have to look at what was accomplished, what was done, what was handled. These three young men were, uh, you know, charged with shoplifting over in a foreign country, China, uh, regardless of our relationship with them, that was a crime that they were alleged to have committed. They reached and, I have to, and I have to admit, they were black men. That right, means but, something in the context of what we're talking about now, Kim. 